One of the features of so many books that are written these days is that they're reactive, uh, that different situations come up in life and somebody sits down and writes a book on, on how to deal with depression or, or how do I escape addiction. Um, but, but the problem with that is that it, it begins by looking in the wrong place. Um, it, it, it's, it's, traditionally it's become a, a how-to book, how do you deal with this issue. Uh, one of the striking things about the Bible is that it never tells you how to or tells you what to do before first of all telling you how you can. And, and when it speaks in that way, it turns our attention away from our circumstances, away from ourselves, but points us to God, uh, the God who is there, the God who controls everything and the God to whom we must all answer. But I think most significantly it points us to God who alone is our saviour. Um, and, and one of the part of the genius of, of Puritan literature was that they were so taken up with God uh, and, and His grace and the uh, the provision that he's made for, for sinners through the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, that they, they opened not just their generation's eyes, but successive generations of eyes to see uh, how, how great the gospel is, um, that, that here is a, a God who, uh, who, has, who has perfectly met our needs as human beings. And when we realize that we're not, it's not us trying to do our best to, to either to keep God's law or to attain to God's standards, but to, uh, to, to enjoy the new life that God gives us through the Lord Jesus Christ, then it's a, it's a whole new uh, outlook on life and a whole new understanding of the Christian life. Uh, one of the, the, the key thoughts that the Puritans really brought to light was the idea of, of what it means to be united to Christ, uh, what it means for um, us to live out the, li the life that Christ gives us. Um, and that's a, a hugely significant thing because too often there's a, a version of the Christian faith taught that, um, that really uh, sees God as beginning something for us at the cross, but then we're left to our own devices to, to carry things through from there. Um, but the Christian life is a life that's lived in fellowship with Christ and dependence upon God for all things. Um, and um, you know, as, as we, you know, as the Puritans grew in their understanding of that, it had a huge impact upon their, their preaching and upon their teaching and, and that's lived on in the generations since.